A great villain, in my opinion, is one that challenges the hero across the board. I mean that the hero is challenged not just physically or mentally, but their very worldview and perceptions of right and wrong are challenged. Hello, creators. Thanks for joining me on the Mad Cabbage Podcast, the place where creators share their behind the scenes process with other aspiring creators. Today, my guest is Michael Nunnally. He is the creator of the Omniverse and the founder slash CEO of Omni Comics and co-founder of his imprint label, Revelation Comics. He has published five books, which are Omen, Gallowsman, Dragon Girl slash Albino Warrior, Dark Oracles, and Cider. And he's going to give you five professional comic writing tips. What tips would you give to someone looking to write their first comic book script? Well, as far as writing the story goes, I would say don't just wing it. Uh, thoroughly outline the story uh, down to what's going to be on each page. You know, take your time uh, writing it all out. You know, viewing it on different uh, throughout the a series of days will actually help keep fresh eyes on it, which is really important. Um, while there, while there should be a larger plot at work, or, or uh, uh, the, the comic itself needs to be a mini story. Uh, something has to be started and finished in each issue, whether it's a completed theme or a struggle the character is going through, or, or, or even, I mean, there just has to be some sort of revol resolution, even if it's only a partial one. Uh, think of a comic as a chapter in a book if you're writing a series. Uh, another thing the pros will tell you is that each paid page needs to make the reader want to turn the page uh, to see what's going to happen. Um, or, 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 you know, to, to, it's got to be like a little mini cliffhanger kind of a thing at, uh, at the end of each page. They got to be uh, wanting to to flip that page to see the next line that's going to be said or the, the next action that's going to happen. Um, however, as far as the scripting goes, I would say keep in mind uh, all that needs to be done by the artist and the letterer on the page. Ask yourself if the artist can describe all that you're asking them uh, to do with the, with the size of the panel that will need to fit the number of panels you have on that page. Uh, next is it's it's a still image. So describing a series of movements for your artist to depict in a single panel is very difficult, if not impossible, to do. Once you've factored in the panels and the space, uh, the art you need to do will also have to factor in whether or not the lettering has enough space in the panel. Uh, uh, or uh, to, to, to get everything done that you want to have written in there uh, without covering up the art that you need to express the detail that you've written. How long does it take for you to finalize your comic script? Like, when do you know when you're just done with it? I, I, that all, it all really kind of depends on whether or not you're talking about actually creating a whole story and then putting a script together. Um, like, for instance, my ongoing titles, I can get a script out in a couple of months. Uh, but like, for instance, uh, when I when I wrote the Seder story uh, recently for, for Revelation Comics, that took me uh, about, I'm going to say about 10 months to actually write the story and then script out what all was going to go in each comic. As a comic writer, how important is it to have an editor? Me personally, my editor's my mom, and I'm completely fine with that because I really don't have many people that I would actually trust with my story, and I don't have many people that I would like share my ideas with. So what would you say about having an editor? Oh, you absolutely need an editor. I mean, I, 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 at least I can say as far as when I write, I have to have an editor. <laughs> In my opinion, uh, the more eyes you can get on your project, the better it'll turn out. You know, there is wisdom in the multitude of counsel, right? So uh, the, the more the more people's opinion you get on the writing, the more people's opinion you get on the art, the whole the whole nine yards, uh, the more input you get into that, the more the more thought out it's going to be. And the more the more thought you put into a book, uh, the more thought the reader is going to be able to get out of it. And, or, and the editor is essential in that process. Uh, it helps deal with uh, keeping the story smooth. You know, it helps deal with uh, keeping the pacing right. Uh, it also deals with uh, taking out stuff that isn't necessarily needed in the story, you know. So, I mean, I, in my opinion, it's essential. Um, you know, you can pick up a good editor for like 20 bucks an hour. You know, uh, it's not it's not a ridiculous uh, 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 expenditure. You know, uh, I I would definitely recommend it to anybody starting out. You can't you can't just share it with just anybody. It's got to be it's got to be a selective group of people. Um, I, like I typically I, I share it with a couple of writers that I'm friends with and stuff. Um, I also share it, you know, like with a, with a, with another couple of friends, you know. But it's it's a really close circle there that I'm keeping it in. I'm talking about sharing it with like I personally share it with about four, maybe five people, including my editor. What will be your 
biggest mistake as a comic book writer? <laughs> Honestly, you know, all that stuff I talked about uh, as far as what you should do uh, when you're first starting out as a writer in comic. I didn't know any of that <laughs> when I jumped into when I jumped into comics. I basically jumped in the deep end and then taught myself how to swim. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it, uh, basically, my biggest mistake was not doing any research on uh, how to make a comic and how comics are different from writing prose and what all goes into them and the whole process. I just, you know, I had written some stories before in prose format. I figured that was good enough. I could write a comic and I was wrong. <laughs> So, I mean, but I mean, I honestly, I've, I learned a lot from my mistakes. Um, so I would like to add to that. Don't be afraid to fail. You know, uh, uh, Wayne Gretzky, a very famous hockey player said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So even though I, I, I do have a regret about maybe my first couple of comics that, you know, I kind of look back at them and, oh, that was kind of bad compared to what I did before, right? what I'm doing now. Right. Uh, so, but honestly, I'm glad I took those shots and I'm glad I, I just jumped out there and got it going and I, I don't want to people i don't want people uh hearing this to to think oh well i'm scared i don't want to make all those mistakes too and blah 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 get out there and do it i i, I don't want you to be afraid of that what makes a good character to you also a good villain like in your opinion what makes just a really good well-written character a good character in my opinion uh one that is fully fleshed out and realized as a person um, they have to have layers to them, you know, likes, dislikes, interests, relationships. Um, as an example, I have a character named Danny Finney in my in my latest comic, Dragon Girl Albino Warrior, uh, who has a terminal case of muscular dystrophy. Uh, that is a pretty defining trait, but I made that a very small part of who she is by making her defining traits be that she's just a big old geek. She loves sci-fi and comic books and, and chooses to see the more positive side of life. Uh, you know, one of her fondest memories is staying up late with her friend Gretchen watching old martial arts movies. Um, you see, you see how with with that there there are layers to her as a as a person. It's not just uh, one or two defining traits. She she's fleshed out there as 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 you know with likes and dislikes and relationships and stuff. In my opinion, a great villain is all about the hero, honestly. Um, a great villain, in my opinion, is one that challenges the hero across the board. I mean that the hero is challenged not just physically or mentally, but their very worldview and perceptions of right and wrong are challenged to the point where the, where the hero is forced to grow uh, because of the villain in order to defeat them. I, I like that whole idea of, of you know, uh, just kind of starting, ha having to kind of rebuild yourself because of the villain. They've caused you to question uh, things that uh, you held sacred and true for a long time and, and reevaluate them. And sometimes it confirms them. Sometimes you change your mind. But I really think the purpose of the villain is to affect the hero. Who should be my next guest on the Mad Cavus podcast, the place where creators share their behind the scenes experience for other aspiring creators? creators um well honestly i gotta suggest uh david howard the creator of uh uh blood world and the founder of Raincross press I actually find him on twitter at uh nemesis uh fc2 on and uh check it out you can follow michael's work at comics i believe it all in the description below you can also follow me and the show and if you have any guests or you're a creator yourself and you want to be on my show shoot me an email at madmoneyart at gmail.com i'm always ready to hear what you have to say if you enjoyed this episode let me know in the comments down below if you're on youtube what was your favorite moment what what tip did you absolutely love if you have any feedback i appreciate that too i'm still learning how to make this podcast this thing is just crazy like i'm not really the best at talking to people this is a way for me to get out of my comfort zone so if you like the podcast show me some love man and if you don't like it if you have some better um tips or feedback you love to share please let me know i'm trying to give you guys the best viewing and listening experience if you want to learn about comic tips and tricks from other professional artists and comic creators in the meantime stay safe stay blessed and stay mad <laughs>